Is Aston Martin and Red Bull Technologies making a supercar together? I mean, why would I mention it if they weren't, right? Right. You know, a super rare Lambo goes up for sale for a super high price. BMW's M models may stand for motorsport because it sure doesn't stand for manual anymore. Plus, Mercedes says goodbye to its CLS shooting break, and we'll hang out with some FD fans today for some Friends Day Wednesday. Isn't that right, AK? I'm ready. Sure, I'm ready. What's going on, everybody? I'm Derek D, and you're watching Fastlane Daily, aren't they, AK? <laughs> yes. True. It's a true statement indeed. So Mercedes plans to launch the next generation of its CLS in 2018, but they've made it clear that the shooting brake version of its four-door coupe won't be coming along for the ride. Yeah, the shooting brake has been shot down in a blaze of glory. That's right. Apparently, the uh, lack of interest from North America and Chinese customers led to the decision to axe the wagon-ish version. Well, Mercedes' tagline is the best or nothing, so if you live in America and thought this was the best, well, then you'll get nothing. Hmm. See how that works? Yep. Well, for all you folks that like to manually shift your gears, it's a sad day, ladies and gentlemen. BMW's M division is saying the manual transmission is on the way out for its upcoming models. Reason being because of the low sales numbers of manual equipped M cars and the improvements in double clutch fuel efficiency and gear change quickness. You know, so BMW's M Bows Bows. said the future doesn't look bright for the old standard transmission. I mean, you gotta be honest, it makes sense. That's where the technology has been going, people. Their goal is to make the car faster and more efficient. It's not whether you, you know, like just shifting gears or not. You know, in related news, BMW's M division plans to cap the output for future models at 600 horsepower because it says anything more than that would be over the limits. Whatever that means. You say that now, BMW, but once that becomes the norm, you'll be singing a different tune, and I ain't talking Norm MacDonald. Oh, you know? kind of weird to say like we're capping it here hmm. when you have you know four-cylinder turbos already at 400 horsepower so I don't know just saying hey if you're rich have a baby and maybe even a chauffeur well you're in luck because you can get the excellence child seat concept Volvo XC90 with the front rear facing baby seat instead of a passenger seat yes no passenger seat at all and just look at that hot mom watching her kid seems real interested yeah then you're like, what about when the kid grows up? Well, you're rich, you'll, you'll figure it out. This is a concept, of course, and, uh, but apparently Volvo wants to make it. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah. That's all I gotta say about that. In related news. Yeah, in related news, babies, babies. Babies. Babies and babies. Sitting in the front, turned around. Oh. Something with like the way their necks, muscles aren't developed that it's better this way. I don't know. I don't know. Remember the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento? <laughs> Oh, that was real nice. Huh. Yeah. That crazy Italian sports car that they only made 20 examples of, Lambo originally sold it for over 2 million bucks. But it looks like one of the unused ones, yeah, there was one unused, is going up for sale by a private seller for over $3 million. Now, if you remember, well, besides it looking bad insane in a good way, mm -hmm. you know, the Sesto Elemento. Oh, real nice. Weighed just 2,200 pounds, so very light, but was powered by a 5.2 liter V10, making 560 horsepower, 98 pound feet of that. Sure. That's right, Erica. So zero to 60 took just 2.5 seconds, so it's super quick. But we'll see how fast a car costing 50% more than retail will sell. My bet is that it'll actually sell to some rich person pretty quick. I mean, it's only one of 20, and this one is brand new still. Come on now. You know what I mean? Talk about rare. Now, if you thought the 800 horsepower Aston Martin Vulcan was cool, just wait. And well, if you didn't think it was cool, just, just listen anyway, because it looks like Red Bull Technologies is co-developing a supercar with Aston Martin due out in 2018. The new model will reportedly use a Mercedes-sourced powertrain and will be designed by legendary F1 designer Adrian Newey. 
Yeah, he knew he knows a lot. He knew he about it. It's not clear if it will be a road legal model or a track only beast to rival the McLaren P1 GTR and Ferrari LaFerrari FX Ferrari LaFerrari FXX K Ferrari the Ferrari LaFerrari FXX K. Okay. 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 But either way, it sounds pretty badass to me. So, looking forward to that, Erica. Huh? Mm-hmm. Sure. Okay, let's see what some FD fans are up to. For Friends Day Wednesday, AK. All right, lay it on us, Derek. Oh, D. here we go. First up, we have Shannon Warren, who happens to be the first FLD fan to subscribe to our Show You page. So thank you for that, buddy. You're the first one. Uh, he's not the only one. He was just the first one. Go to showyou.com slash Daily to find out more. Next is Erica Hooks, who, Erica, same name. Nice. Actually, I think it's Eric Hooks. Yeah, it's Eric Hooks, not Awkward. Eric Hooks. Yeah, sorry, dude. Uh, who emailed us this picture of a Ford pickup Dually Carrera. Yeah, pretty rare. Hey, he really, at least the guy who owns his truck really went for it. You gotta give him credit. Similar color scheme. The text is right, you know, the Carrera text. But uh, it's all wrong, is what I'm saying. Next is long, can't believe I called America. Sorry. Doing man. it wrong. Yeah, doing it wrong, Derek D. Next is longtime LVD fan, Robert Nahirgis. Nahirgis. Hope I said your name right, man. Uh, look at his dog just chilling with sunglasses on. Nice. He snapped, this, uh, snapped these spy shots in Redondo Beach, California the other day, which clearly is a Mercedes AMG GT. But that's already out. So maybe it's a facelifted version. It can't be the AMG GT4 because I don't see any extra doors. That's supposed to be, you know, rival the Panamera. But uh, either way, thanks, man, for the spy shots. By the way, Robert is selling his 04 Infiniti G35 Sport. He posted a link on our Facebook page if any of you are interested. I saw some pictures. It looks like it's kept in really good shape. Uh, next is FLD fan Joseph Reef here, who loves himself some dip your car action. Yeah, I think he was a uh, Q of the D at one point. Anyway, he snapped this picture at the mall of a V8 Toyota Sequoia in the low emission parking spot. I mean, come on, owner of that V8 gas guzzler. You're not supposed to park there. Jeez. Here's FLD fan Gonzalo Vaz. Hope I said his name right. Simply just watching the coolest show ever. Here he is, watching FLD. Thanks, man. Uh, here's a do-it-yourself rig. Guy just cut his pickup in half and dropped in that entire, you know, in an in a 18-wheeler, you know, those rigs, they have like the living space. Well, like behind, it, sleeper. yeah, where they yeah. sleep and stuff. Well, basically, uh, he just, you know, put that in between the the body and the bed of his truck. So, I mean, I, I guess that's cool. Mm -hmm. You know, if you can do it, sure. Thanks to Ruben Torres Jr. here for that one. FLT fan Enoch Erikovich Kim <laughs> took this picture of the greenest car ever. I'd say, yeah. The grass windshield and all. Yeah. Trees growing out of the sunroof. I don't think this car actually moves. It's just there as a basically an oversized pot for plants. Finally, we have Evelyn fan Cody McLaughlin, who uh, posted this video on our page via Car Buzz of a Mustang about to make a left turn, and the guy recording is simulating what the blinker would sound like. Just listen, it's pretty funny. La la left. La la left. La la left. <laughs> la la left. La la left. Which is pretty funnily accurate, I think. La 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 left, la la left, la la left. Because they're sequential. Yeah. Ra ra right, ra ra right. So there you go. Thank you, friends, for all the posts. Keep them coming. We do appreciate it. So thank you very much. All right. Our FLD question of the day is: Do you think it's a wise decision for BMW to discontinue the manual transmission in their M cars? Yeah. I mean, do you think they are alienating the enthusiasts, even though sales are low? I mean, there's people out there that they want to row their own gears. So let us know what you think. Use hashtag FLDQ of the D, and you can send your own in to... Tips at FastLaneDaily.com. Boom, there it is, AK. And that will end this episode of Fast Lane Daily. Thanks for watching, everybody. We really do appreciate it. I'm Derek D. And if you feel so inclined, head over to showyou.com slash FastLaneDaily to see what it's all about. You can do some fun stuff over there. So thanks. Peace. Peace. Rolling. Yeah, we got nothing. Going for um, it's too good, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's too good. <gasps> Bird. Oh. Can you guys see that? Is a pigeon back there? No, I don't know if you can see it. It's probably too bright. Yet, no. You like that little uh, guitar sting there?
little new one? Yeah, that was interesting. Yeah. Um, what kind of guitar is that? I don't know. Let's play it again. Thank <laughs> you. 